Bro, all competition is going in, bro. Oh, shoot. Look at that flip. All right. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another Let's Go to Work episode. You guys already know what time it is, man. It feels like I haven't done Let's Go to Work all week long, but we're bringing it back. We're going for a night drive, and we got some things to do, of course. And uh, this property over here, man, still one of my favorite. And uh, we leaving. We are leaving since we're not spending the weekend over here. But right now, we are heading for um, the cash business. And after the cash business, we'll try, you know, the other business and stuff like that. But we got to move some stuff. And today, I bought a new van. So this van bring back a lot of memories for me, of course. Um, if we had that much choice, <laughs> which one would you take out, guys? <laughs> But we, we do have to go pick up the Viper though. I want to drop the Viper tonight. So let's take out this SVG since it's like right there. We're going to take this out, bring it to the other house. I don't even have insurance on the SVG. All right. We're going to try our best. We barely dropped this anyway. Let's back up out of here. Oh, yo. Oh, <laughs> almost crashed. Oh, almost crashed. That was a close call. That was a close call. All right. But yeah, we got two jobs to do tonight, and uh, hopefully, you guys will get a chance to enjoy the night drive too. You guys already know how I feel about that. I love night drive because I remember I remember my dad just like, you know, out of noise, like, yeah, you want to go for a drive? I'm like, why not? <laughs> Whether I was in the front seat, back seat with like my brothers and stuff like that, uh, why not? <laughs> Let's go. And sometimes he would take me along. I'm like, yo, I, I don't mind at all, especially when he like, you know, when he got things to do, like, but for um, his business and stuff like that, which I thought was the oh, man, look at the, the plane is on point. I gotta stop for gas. Yeah, whenever he used to like go out, or whatever, not go out to party, but you know, go out for like ice cream, go for a drive. He used to love going for drive for like to just clear his head, which is something that I do too, which is pretty cool, man. Uh, yeah, let's go for gas right now. Let's get some fuel. All right, now that we have a full tick of gas, oh, so just almost hit this lady. All right, let's go back to our crib because I want to bring out the Viper. Oh, cool. Did I put insurance on that Viper? I don't remember. That is if the insurance thing is still open, but um, we're heading back to the Chris house real quick. One of my favorite crib. You guys realize I've been posting this crib for like a while now. Whenever I end up liking a place, I end up using it the most, especially a place to start. We've been starting from the other crib so much. Uh, we did um, start from the, I think that crib is called Twin Peak or something like that. But we did start from that today, but um, yeah, man. I'm missing my other wood house mansion. Definitely a big shout out to Shaq, man. I don't know if Shaq ever coming back to GTA again, but Shaq had some of the best like mansion when it comes to like, you know, stuff that's like extremely stable and stuff like that. And also my boy Guello and all the other um modders and stuff like that, which kept me going with GTA, man. If it wasn't for that, bro, if it wasn't mods being released on the regular, I don't know if I would play GTA stuff. Like we get a mod, it's not every day, every month. <laughs> like for real, we got a new mod. Like, yeah. If it wasn't for those, bro, I don't know if I would keep going with GTA for this long. And uh, one game that I've been playing lately too. Definitely big shout out to the crew at ATS. Uh, like I remember first time I met these guys at PAX. Actually, I don't know if you guys ever been to PAX, but I met these guys at PAX and. Uh, <laughs> You know, they showed me the sim racing because I'm into sim, sim racing since uh, I don't know since the 2000s. I mean, like 2005. I remember when I got my first wheel, bro. Everybody used to look at me like I'm crazy. I'm like, bro, I love driving. Oh shoot, I love driving, and I didn't own a car because I was in New York. Owning a car in New York, man, insurance and all that. As crazy as it sounds, I worked hard until I was able to own at least four. Bro, it's crazy. When I used to live in New York, I used to own at least four cars. I don't know how, why did I do that and how did I do that, bro? <laughs> like for real, 
like, yo, you'd be crazy to own full cars in New York, bro. And parking. Definitely big shout out to my auntie because she used to let me park in her backyard. <laughs> she used to hook me up, bro. She'd be like, all right, just park in the backyard, you know. And uh, I get a chance whenever I can. Even first time I, I bought my, my my first first GTR. I know some of you guys remember those days when I bought my first GTR, bro. <laughs> Yo, that was why I couldn't drive it every day because I had to go to work. I had to go to work and pay for the car and you know, all that stuff. All right, so right now we are heading straight to the cash business, which uh, the map never shows. So we're gonna do a couple runs. I got a brand new van, bro. Why not? You know when you got something brand new, like why not? Okay, so and also that Ecoline, um, I think that's what they call it, the Ecoline F um, E150 or something like that. Why I know about this man is because um, that was one of the first van that I felt like I was driving a lot. So what happened is I used to work for this uh, Jewish company or whatever. Definitely big shout out to them, man. Because I couldn't find a job that would, um, uh, you know, another thing too. I took school so serious to the point where if the job didn't match with my school schedule, bro, sorry, I'm not taking it. Nah, that was straight up from, like, this is how I used to like move and stuff like that. Because I was like, you know, especially coming from my family, school first, make sure we get that done. And then, uh, you know, work, work is work, man. There's so many ways you can make money and stuff like that. I mean, I'll, if you didn't fit in my schedule, bro, I'm sorry. I don't care if you was granted me a million, <laughs> whatever. That's how I was moving, bro. But um, I did I did get a chance to work for this company, and uh, I didn't have a license. I didn't even have a license. But um, there were desperate times where well, they took the risk, and they showed. Oh shit. Oh, some of the guys that work for me. Yeah, they were desperate time where they took the risk and I never failed them. And I even remember one time that I got stopped and the officer was like, just go, man. We see you all the time over here because whenever I'm like in whatever neighborhood it is, uh, bro, I'm I always like, I don't know. For some reason, everybody always like trying. It, it, it's not just say what's up, but it's like. Yo, what up, man? I always show everybody respect. I don't care who you are. I'm gonna show you respect, unless, unless <laughs> you do otherwise, you disrespect me or something like that. Respect goes straight out the window, bro. I don't care who you are. But um, I remember um, there was like this corner store, coffee place. Okay, they don't have enough product, but I gotta move some product too. So what we gonna do right now? We gonna buy some stuff. Yeah, so there was this corner store that we all used to go to to get some coffee, bagels, and all that. So I used to um, always run into some cops. So they always there again, you know, the bagels and stuff like that. Um, let's buy. Let's actually resupply. And as crazy as it sounds, it was that same cop that stopped me. I, it's crazy that I'm remembering this right now because uh, I know some of you guys uh, who knows Brooklyn. I used to work all the way in Avenue Y. Yes, <laughs> all the way in Avenue Y. You know, you got to catch the 44 bus and all that stuff. And then sometimes they used to allow me to take the van. <laughs> and as crazy as it sounds, I got stopped by that same cop that I used to talk to in that bagel store. And that's how I was like, all right, I got lucky, bro. <laughs> I got lucky. <laughs> and I couldn't get my license because I was young. And uh, you know how out of state they allow you. Uh, let's resupply again because I feel like I, I want to make sure. We have enough for the weekend. It's crazy how my story time always get triggered. As soon as I saw the van, I was like, I gotta tell you guys this story right here. And uh, you know, when I used to work for the school, it used to be like cleaning, right? I'm in high school or whatever. You guys could tell I was really young. Um, I'm in high school, and that job only allowed me to work from four to twelve. Oh, there I go right here. That van right here was kind of like I, I kind of feel like that was my first car, really, other than, you know, the, the first car that I bought or whatever. But I kind of feel like that was my first car or the first family car. But um, yeah, man, I remember driving this van and I know the back roads. <laughs> Why know the back roads? Because I never wanted to get stopped again. I could get from Avenue M to Z without getting stopped, you know, back road stop sign. 
no lights just you know just going around and stuff like that man yeah man this van was kind of like my first oh shoot oh it's right there bro i was about to go all the way around for no reason our competition is around bro our competition is at the beach you see how they show it show me where they at but yeah that van was probably one of my first little i guess oh shoot oh i thought i was getting pulled <laughs> That is hilarious. That is hilarious. Somebody else getting the heat right now. Yeah, so with this one right here, I saw this just got released on GTA 5 mods, of course. Let me stop before that cop changes his mind. Yeah, we're gonna stop for the like for the first time <laughs> in a while. But yeah, I remember just following every traffic rules. That is me without a license, bro. And I was grateful the fact that they trust me enough, passed me the keys. My coworker vouched for me. Around that time too, and they used to allow me to take it only when I have you know work to be done, and I used to get a chance to just take the van or whatever. But other than that, it was like, yeah, you better put that key back, bro. But I feel like that was like kind of my first experience on like, hey, you gotta be responsible. Make sure you drive carefully. Make sure you do this. Make sure you do that. Let me let me just go around, you guys. Oh, okay, there you go. Only green. All right, so this is gonna be one of our delivery. Then um, I'll catch a cab back to the office and then maybe I'll do. Oh, actually, I have to do another delivery for that. Oh, shoot. My competition is here already. Oh, shoot, bro. No. Evan is bulletproof. Bro, my competition is here. All right, I got to keep moving. Oh, shoot, bro. Yo, they here. All right, I'm going to take y'all back here. Come on. Come on, follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Oh, well, they're not following me anymore. Oh, they about to leave. Come on. What they at? Oh, they gone. There ain't nobody trying to get caught over here, man. But yeah, they gone, man. All right, it is what it is. Let's get a cab back to the office. Bro, they came out of nowhere, man. Well, I'm telling you guys story time, bro. <laughs> Oh man. But yeah, that that job was actually pretty cool. That was one of my job from high school, guys. And hey, I appreciate I it so much. Of course. Driver should be with you soon. Thank you. And I appreciate it so much. Um that was one of the time like, oh shoot, look at the YouTube sound up there. That was way before YouTube. I didn't even know you could do anything with that was like, like just like I said in the two thousands. Okay, there you go. Is that the taxi? Uh yeah, it is. Where do you want to go? Um, I'm trying to go back to my office real quick. All right, so let's grab the Viper. We still got to um make sure all the business is good. All right, let's hit the road. Let's Speed sure it up, homie. I guess you're in a hurry. Yeah, man, come on. But yeah, that was the story about that van, man. And that van, uh, yeah, I'm a, I don't know if that company still have that van. I actually, um, when I went to New York like a couple years ago, I went by, you know, check on everybody and stuff like that. And bro, are you serious? All right, let's just skip, bro. At this point, he's gonna be stuck. All right, thank you, buddy. All right, let's make sure everybody's good, and then we can actually leave. And we gotta go take care of all other business. No, I don't hey. wanna call him back. Knock on on, on this door, man. Yeah, as crazy as it sounds, man. That's why I always tell you guys. It, it always takes like that one little thing that trigger story time for me. And I saw that van, and I was like, bro, gotta tell you guys about that. But the cop that um stopped me too, man. I'm happy he didn't like. Oh, you don't have a license. I'm gonna have to do this and that. All I did was, uh, I mean, all he did was like, bro, get out of here. What's up, Steve? Get out of here, bro. I love. <laughs> I was like, bro, I love the fact that I got away with that. I was like, bro, never again. And it was also my fault because I decided to take the main road, you know, when it's late night or whatever. Um, so let's resupply again so they could have enough stuff and then we should be good. It was my fault. I took the main road because I wanted to get some food or whatever and then go back to the office. But um, yeah, sometime you make. OK, so you see they full supply. And uh, they just got to work, bro. 
I don't have anything to move. You see that? I just move everything. So you guys have a great weekend. This is it for me, man. It's a nice Saturday, Saturday early morning. I mean, it's actually Friday, tomorrow Saturday, <laughs> whatever. So let's go, man. All right, let's check on the other business. Cause is it? It is still ten o'clock on a Friday in the game. Great drive, man. They are the best. All right. So the other business is somewhere over here. I'm guessing right now. I know where it is. I know where it is. We'll get there when we get there. Is that the guys that was shooting at me? In the vet? Ah, that was a random vet. Oh, okay. It's going that way. But I hope you guys been enjoying, you know. All the story time, all the stuff that happened and stuff like that, man. Somebody was like, bro, I hold on you. <laughs> the fact that you always got a story time, bro. I mean, I did what I had to do, bro. Like, I've been through a lot, got through a lot. Like, yeah, life happened, man. I love Bob. I mean, still, if I had to do it over again, man, I wouldn't change anything because you gotta learn from your experiences. You gotta, you gotta keep pushing, man. No giving up over here, man. Oh shoot, no giving up over here. Yeah, sorry, man. Whatever you're going through, man, it, it ain't gonna last forever, man. Just, just keep your head up, keep doing what you do, and you guys already know, man. Oh shoot! Are they after? Me? Oh nope. I'm talking about they were after me. All right, now we are going for the other business. I never did. I don't know if the van is gonna be the same van that they did, um, that they used for the regular. Oh shoot! Okay, he's after me, bro. He's after me. I kind of felt like a cop was coming for us. Event, the was gonna come for us eventually. Oh yeah, no, he's all the way at the light. We're gonna lose him. He's not stopping. He's all the way over there, but he ain't stopping, bro. Stopping, bro. Oh yeah, nah, he's got. He's not giving up, bro. Inside. Let's just go inside. Yo, he's not giving up. <laughs> he's not giving up. He's looking for us. We lost him, bro. We lost him. <laughs> Good try, buddy. <laughs> he's still looking for us. All right, so this is our second business right here. Let's see. Oh, she see that? That business got enough product. Um, but we got to move stuff now. So, I don't know how is the lowest one. The 60,000 one we did before. Let's see the other one. And also big shout out to all you guys that I got a chance to meet in Vegas, bro. Like I just like I always tell you guys, man. You guys all if, like wherever wherever I go place, bro, I like to check in with you guys. I got a chance to meet some of you guys, hang out and all that stuff. I'm definitely looking forward um, to like you know the, probably the next place we're going to man. I get in the vehicle. Are we using the same van? Oh, they got a diff. They got the old school van. Oh, they got the Scooby Doo. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call this van. They got the Scooby Doo. All right. Let's go. We're gonna use this. Is that cop still back there, bro? He is still back there. Bro, he is still back there. All right, our competition is on the way. Let's keep it moving. And you guys, let me know. You guys that drives, what was your first car and what was your experience like, man? For real, I kind of, you know, if, when I really take it back, if somebody always, I mean, some of you guys always ask me what was my first car. I feel like it was this minivan for real, because that's that's the car that I really got a chance to drive. I remember I had the little Sentra. But that was the family Sentra. That, that was not like, you know, like, I don't know. I drove it a couple of times, not often. I saw that cop first. I saw him first. And we got a lot of stuff in the van, so I'm a chill. I'm a chill, bro. He's going the same way as us. <laughs> chill. Chill, homie. Oh, brother. Ugh. <laughs> oh, man. But our competition is right there, bro. I gotta go. 
I gotta go. Oh, maybe they could take care of all competition. There you go. There you go. There you go. Get him. Get him. A competition is right there. Bro, why are you not taking care of our competition, bro? Bro, all competition is going in, bro. Oh shoot, look at that flip. Alright, let me see. I got I got like five oh, bullets, bro. Man, you hit. Bro, I got like five bullets. And the cop is after me too? Nah man. And this man is not even moving! I gotta make it count, bro. I gotta make it count. Why is this cop after me, bro? All right, they got caught. Yeah, they got caught. It's crazy how I'm running them. Oh shoot! Watch out with your Mustang. Bro, that cop is still coming for us. Why? Yeah, he is still coming. All right, so we kind of outrun our competition right now. Just like I said, I only got five bullets in this shotgun, bro. For protection. You know, Franklin ain't trying to do no crime. Oh, yeah, we ain't trying to go to jail either, bro. This is like CJ's thing. This ain't us. Oh, shoot. That cop is moving, bro. I got to keep turning them corners. Oh, and our competition is coming. Come on. This Vin should be able to do it. Come on. Going straight always give them the advantage, of course. But as long as I make my delivery, bro, we good. We good. Oh, shoot. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Make a delivery, bro. Make the delivery, they take the van away. Oh, they just ran over somebody, bro? Make the delivery. The delivery. Yes! <laughs> um Oh, the cop is gone too. Let's go. We made it, bro. That was 40k, bro. That was 40k. And we good. All right, my Viper is all the way on the other side, and uh, let's see. We did good though, man. We did good. You know what? I was thinking about going to the other business, but we did good. We did good. Actually, let me call my security, bro. Does this this garage work? Oh, it looked like this garage could have opened. What's up, guys? <laughs> He's like, I didn't mean it. All right, can I still call for? Um, all right, that's the limo. Ah, oh, I can't call the um to bring my car anymore. It is what it is. All right, so um, guys, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call my security. Let's do uh, VIP plus only because I know these guys might be after me. Let's get two cars, man. I'm feeling like a boss tonight. All right, so these guys should be here in a minute, and uh. Wow, I took care of that business already, so I don't really need anything. How far are these guys right now? They're on the beach, bro. They are all the way on the beach. All right, but I gotta wait here, man. We yeah, are definitely let me know what was your um I guess new car story or first car story. Like what you had to do to get your first car. Oh shoot. Somebody. Oh, while we waiting, we about to see something. Oh yeah, it's about to go down, bro. It's about to go down. Oh shoot! Everybody's about to freak out. Everybody's about to freak out, bro. Who's gonna win? The cops versus? Oh shoot! The cops are winning, bro. They got the first guy already. You better drop it. Better. Okay, they got they got both, and they got it just like a G. I guess somebody got a call now. I mean, paramedic is on the way. All right, is my guards here yet? They are almost here. All right, so we we just gotta get something to eat. I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the Jamaican spot real quick, get something to eat, and then have them drop me off at the um at uh the other uh, business that we own. And then uh, let's call it a night, man. Bro, that it went down over there, bro. Nobody called paramedic yet, though. <laughs> bro, you know one thing I can't wait? GTA 6. The NPCs in GTA 6, I know. This is 2024, bro. I actually it's going to be 2025 when we get it. 
I'm pretty sure they about to be lit. They definitely gonna be lit. And uh everything like you see like scenarios like that. Paramedic is here. Bro, they not going for these guys? They really just stop at the light. They really just stop at the light. Alright. My god my guards are here. Oh, they brought out the malls. Oh, they wanna go exactly where I was at. Thank you guys. All right, let me hop in real quick. All right, uh, take me to that location. Where I have, bro. They not playing, yo. All right, F six to change mode. Not safe mode, but fast. Let's get let's get that fast, man. Because I'm hungry. I'm at eleven percent. So they're gonna follow each other, of course. Bro, let's go. Feeling like a boss. <laughs> Bro, I'm trying to record. Oh shoot! Look at look at that Lambo though. Feeling like a boss right now, man. Thanks, Lambo, buddy. All right, so all we gonna do is get something to eat, and then after that, do we get stopped by cops too. Oh shoot, bro! Watch out, for real. Watch out, man. Chill out, chill out. Y'all need to chill. Take a chill pill, bro. Let's get me there safely. Oh, the other game, the other game. All right, no, no, no. Can you drive safe, bro? Yeah, just drive normal, cause you, you look like you about to kill me, bro. Bro, being in the back seat too. Let's go, man. All right, it's right there, bro. I just gotta get some food real quick. All right, appreciate it. Any of y'all coming with me? They're supposed to protect me at all the time, bro. Oh, oh, the guard in the back. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Grandma. Just getting some food real quick. Thirty-seven dollar. I guess. Uh, you know what I got? I got some jerk chicken. All right, guys. Um, uh, my next location is back to my car. Bro, then I saved the car. Oh, I got out so fast. It ain't safe. All right, we're going home, bro. We're going home. Yeah, just take me home, guys. Oh, I didn't save the car, bro. That car is the bomb. <laughs> All right, I guess, guys, this is going to have to cut it um, for now. Oh, my God. Now, I appreciate y'all. You guys already know how we do, man. They waiting for the like. Um, yeah, I think this is it for now. You guys definitely let me know what other jobs you guys want me to try. But these are my favorite jobs where the game works well. There's no glitch. You can actually get them on GTA 5 minds.com. We got some new mentions for y'all that should be coming soon. And I think this is going to be it, man. Bro, why y'all why y'all stop? Oh, man. Oh, okay, there we go. Fast mode. Get me there like as fast as you can. There you go. All right, I got security with me and I'm going home, bro. But anyway, guys, have a good day, good night. Whenever you guys are watching this, I appreciate y'all. I guess until next time. Peace.